Essa foto, ela só aparece nesse livro, que é esse livro de 2007. Acho que foi a primeira foto que eu fiz do, do gato no estúdio. E isso é em 2003, eu trabalhava em casa, estava preparando esses primeiros trabalhos de argila. E encontrei essa situação dessa foto com essa curva da escultura, essa curva do gato e dessa mesma importância assim para a arte e vida, para o animal e escultura. Then in 2008, I was struck by this theme of the pet cemetery. I was terrified of the death of my cat. And I saw these images of sculptures that people make for animal graves. So I decided I would make an exhibition with one sculpture to each animal I could think of. And for each work I could use any material, any style, sculpture, genre, collaborations with other artists. It was a liberating project. At the same time, the turtle comes from a different process. I wasn't thinking of animals for that. I was thinking bronze and stone and concrete volumes, all this processual side of it. Well, I was thinking about sculpture, really, not turtles. So it's curious how subject matter or materials, personal fear or art history have the same importance in the work, or I want them to have the same importance. So I think that I can start at any point of this circle. I can start with an image of a cat or with a piece of formless abstract clay and any of them will take me to the work as if images, ideas, materials were all rotating in some sort of loop. My cat is fine, she's 17 today. She's alive and well, still beautiful. I, I'm not so much terrified of her death anymore. I think sometimes that uh, animals have a far better relationship to death than us. I feel like they know more about being furry energy or just electricity, about being in general. <laughs>